Hi, and welcome to our math project about paper folding and its applications, its history, and how it's used today. Well, let's get started. So, in 1893, Sundra Rao made the book Geometric Exercises in Folding Paper. He used paper folding to prove geometric constructs. He also implied, falsely I might add, based on these folds, the cubic root was impossible to compute. However, in 1936, the general cubic root function was found to be solvable using the Belloc fold, which was introduced by Margarita P. Belloc. This fold was later mentioned in the axioms of Husida and Hattori to create a basis for mathematical paper folding. The Husida, uh, Husida and Hattori axioms were started in 1991 and finished in 1995. There were seven of them. However, the first one was discovered first by Jacques Justin in 1986 and rediscovered by Husida in 1991. These axioms are now the basis for mathematical paper folding for the purposeful ac purpose of accurately trisecting angles to a high level of precision. Hello. So the first axiom is that with any two points, there is a fold that, or there's a unique fold that passes through those points. So basically, take two points, go like that, go like that. This fold creates a line, and yeah. That's the, the second axiom is that with any two arbitrary points, there is a unique fold, right, there's a unique fold that places one point onto the other point. This point is a perpendicular bisector. Any line on this point is equal distance to two of these points. The third axiom is that given any two lines, there's a unique fold that places one line onto the other. So, as such. And that fold is as demonstrated. Axiom four, given a line and a point, there's unique perpendicular fold that goes through this line and this point. Demonstrated as such. And here we, okay, just got it, there we go. Axiom five, given two points and one line, there is a fold that carries this point onto this line that passes through this point, shown as such. Let me go here. See? Let me just, there. Okay, axiom six. Given two points and two lines, there's a fold that takes one point onto one line and the other point onto the other line, shown as such. You take this over, when you fold it, you can see that it sort of lines up with the lines and the points. Okay, this is the seventh and final axiom, is that given two lines and a point, there's a fold that places this point onto this line, which is perpendicular to this line, shown as such. So it goes over here, and we draw the line, right angles, perpendicular. So why do we care about all these things? Well, the thing is that there are things that you can do with paper folding that you can't do with a regular you know, compass and straight edge. One of those things is trisecting an angle. So the way we do that, I already sort of have an angle out here, sort of the angle between this area and that area. First thing you want to do is you want to create these sort of straight lines over here. Once you have those two straight lines, you can find a point that matches this point onto this line and let me see. And then matches this line onto this line over here. So once we do that, we can follow this line over here. And then we can get our first third and then fold back this line over here.
And then we get our other thing. So, over here is a trisected angle. It's not perfect, but it's mathematically certain. So we can use this, uh, this technique of angle trisection to create regular polygons or regular shapes that you normally wouldn't be able to do. One of those things is a heptagon, a seven-sided shape. Something that's impossible to do with a compass and a straight edge. It's actually quite feasible with paper folding. And so that's why we use things like paper folding. All right, so that's a basic overview of paper folding and angle trisection. We hope you enjoyed it. You should uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, subscribe to BuzzFeed if you like this video. Give us a like, thumbs up. Uh, become a Patreon today so we can keep doing videos like this. And uh, Oh, and don't forget to buy our merch. We have math shirts.